Well, Jamie, uh, congratulations on getting back into the win column. We can see a uh, little fight was obviously hard. We can see on your face. So physically, how are you feeling after that one? Yeah, I feel all right, man. I feel I feel good. Um, yeah, just uh, like you said, good to be back in that win column. You were pretty excited to fight the someone of John Modesti's experience level when we spoke to him media day. So now that the fight's done, is it did it play out as you expected? Yeah, it, it kind of did, man. Um, I, I wanted to finish him, so I'm a little bit, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit upset I didn't get the finish. But um, it's what I expected. John's a tough guy, man. He's, uh, I don't think he's been finished except when he got his jaw broke by Cowboy, but uh, even still he wasn't knocked out. So he's crafty, he's, um, he's hard to hit, he's hard to hit clean. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was a good, good fight for my uh, kickboxing skills. Were there any moments in there where you thought, well, this is the moment I can finish him, or did he just not give you those opportunities? Yeah, yeah. when I hit him with that jump knee, I hit him with a jump knee in the face uh, in the third round, and I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was spewing. I thought I would fucking drop him, but... And then on the flip side, was there a moment where you realized, like, this guy's not, like, he's too tough and durable. Like, I might not finish this guy and now have to kind of play a smarter and reach the judge's scorecard. Uh, not not really a moment, but it was just how the the fight was playing out. Um, it was just a, a good good technical scrap, you know. And the final one for me. He seems pretty surprised when they raised your hand. Uh, he, you know, he, he his hands were in the air and everything. Were you confident uh, that you would have your hand raised when it reached the reached the scorecards? Yeah, I was. I I knew I was landing more shots and uh, doing. I was just busier. Um, uh, he had a, a sort of a slow start to the first round, which I, I teed off on him. Did a lot of damage to his leg. Um, I, I was winning the second round as well, but he, he clipped me at the second, the end of the second round, and I thought they'd give him the round. So going into that third, I, I was thinking one and one, and uh, I, I had one and three. <coughs> uh, Jamie, just over here. Um, you mentioned during the media day um, that being complacent was one of the biggest lessons you learned from your last fight. Um, I'm just wondering, you know, getting the win tonight, was there any lessons um, that, that, that you learned from tonight? even through the win? Um, yeah, there'll always be lessons. We'll, we'll go back and watch the tape, obviously. Um, I, I, like, I, I felt like my concentration and focus was better this fight. And then even still, I, I got just clipped at the end of that second round and that's just, um, it's just another thing that I've got to go back and, uh, and look over. Uh, it was, I wasn't moving my feet. Um, so that was one of the main things that we were working on in the camp. And uh, going into that third round, my corner said, just make sure you're moving your feet so that doesn't happen again. And Jamie, just over here, you know, John McDessie is, you know, he's obviously a veteran of the UFC, a veteran of the sport. What do you think a hard fight against a veteran like that can do for your development as a mixed martial artist and as a fighter? Yeah, a lot, man. Um, like I said, that I, fit, I really feel like, my skill level has gone up from tonight and um, that's what I thought would happen as well. I thought if I, you know, even if I don't get the finish tonight, this is going to improve me as a fighter massively. And just on that, do you feel that you've hit your prime as a mixed martial artist yet or do you feel that you've still got so much room to grow? Um, I feel like I'm coming into my prime. Um, there's definitely more room to grow though um, and that's, that's what I look to do. Um, I'm not content with this this win. Like I'm, I'm happy, obviously, but I'm not content with uh, where I'm sort of at right now. Uh, I feel like I should be a little bit further in the in the division. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking to get back to the gym, back to work, and uh, keep improving and uh, try try climb this ladder.